Okay, so this gauge here for my aftermarket water temp, it goes from 130 straight up to 190. And it used to rest only at about 150, 160. Never went up anything higher. It's really weird, just like it quit working on me. Well, I went and hooked up another gauge for the black truck for the Ford Cummins project I haven't had it installed yet. So, the other two gauges here are correct. They're, as far as I know anyway, with the oil, but I know it's got something because it goes up at least. So, we hooked up the wiring for the uh, electric fans. And I unhooked that temp sensor and hooked in another one that comes up and over to this gauge. Oh look, it's already at 190. All right, let me go see. So it's at 190, just sitting here idling. I know it's kind of oaky rig, but I got it on switch panel up here. We're gonna split up the switch. That barely made anything going down. Yeah, that's how strong the fans are. They're moving the bottle and shit. <laughs> it's starting to go down though, so that's cool. Back down from 190, almost back 180 already. So it's 86 Bronco, and the whole thing I bought an aftermarket complete all aluminum radiator with dual fans. So there's no fan coming in off the engine anymore. It's got two electric fans. Thing is killer. It's only 240 bucks. No more plastic to break and try leaving you stranded. It's sitting right at 180. It's dropping below 180, so that's good. Anyway, that concludes it. It keeps wanting to die, not idle, right? Something's going on, but it drives me back and forth to work, which is about 30 some odd miles away. So, that'll work. Now I just gotta rip this one here out and hook up the other gauges and we'll be good. So I thought that would be a good way to test out that thermostat and this gauge. Make sure everything was all working right. But we're good, so I just gotta put the new one in and we'll be good to go.